Hi, this is Sahana. Our today's session is about another important file in ASP.NET Core applications that is View Imports file. This is our ASP.NET Core MVC application. Here we have Views folder. If we expand Views folder, here we have View Imports file. Look at this file. We have few lines of code. So what is this file all about? It is a special file where directives shared by many views are specified. In this application, we are using two directives. One is using and other one is add tag helper. We can use different directives in this file like add tag helper, remove tag helper, tag helper prefix, using, model, inherits, inject and namespace. If you look at this create tutorial view, we are using form tag helper. Here we are using one more tag helper that is partial tag helper. This add tag helper directive allows us to use all the tag helpers in our application. Another directive is using directive. This directive imports namespace into our application. Again, I'll open create tutorial.cshtml. If you look at this statement, we have specified model that is tutorial view model. If you notice, we have specified fully qualified name. First part refers to namespace. This is the actual name of the model. The benefit of using view imports file is if we specify namespace in this file. We don't have to specify namespace here in each view. We can remove this line. We can directly specify model. Now I will remove this from here and I'll come to this view imports file and I will use this using directive and I will specify the namespace. If we come back to this file here, see, we can directly use tutorial view model without using its fully qualified name. I will open edit tutorial.cshtml. Even in this file, we are using this tutorial model. Again, we have specified this namespace because it was not there in this file. As now we have added this namespace to view imports file, we can directly use model name. So this saves a lot of time. The second benefit is the code will be more cleaner and more readable. I will open this in next.cshtml. Here we have ASP.NET Core MVC intro.models. Again, this is a namespace. I will remove this from here because we have already added this namespace to view imports file. With this file, we get different benefits like it re this file reduces code duplication, we get organized code, and we can specify directives shared by many views, which saves a lot of our time. So that is the reason this file plays important role in ASP.NET Core applications. As and when necessary, you can add different directives here and you can get benefit of this file. That's it for today's session. I hope you enjoyed the session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.